Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to change a paper element fuel filter for a Mark IV Golf. Um, you can see that the fuel filter is just right here. This is the fuel lens, which goes into your fuel pump. Um, this will be a part of the service. So this is a follow-on video from the previous one. Um, and basically, all you have to do is there's a wee hold-on bracket. Loosen that off with a star head. Okay, you need to remove this pipe, this pipe, and these pipes will come off together. So you have like a butterfly clip here which you, you pop out. Make sure you don't lose them. Okay. Then that pipe should just gently pry it up and that should pop out okay for you. Now again, we're trying to minimize any spillages. All you have to do is loosen this bracket, give it a wee wedge around. And that sort of frees up the rubber off the top of the metal fuel filter. Give it a wee push and a pull. And that comes off for you. Same with the other side. And now our fuel filter is ready to come out. Okay, you can see we've got our two filters. The old one and the new one. What I like to do is with the old one is to... Drain the fuel out of that. Number one, you can get a, a visualization of how good that fuel quality is. And number two, we're able to fill up our new fuel filter. When you fill up your new fuel filter, basically, um, it's much easier to start the car afterwards. Again, this is the same as the oil filter. This needs to be put in a dedicated bin and collected by a waste collection company. So now you can look at your fuel. You can smell it and you can look inside it and see if there's any dirt particles or, or uh, any metal particles. All I would do is fill up the new filter. Now you're not going to put every single drop in. Just wait until there's a wee tiny bit left because that's where all the dirt and stuff will be. And that's the purpose of a fuel filter. It's to actually clean or filter your fuel before it reaches your engine. Okay, we're just going to do now everything in reverse. We're going to slide on our fuel filter. We're going to tighten up the wee star head screw for the bracket. Anytime you're working with fuel or oil, always make sure that you're wearing gloves. You have your barrier cream on. They can irritate your skin. Make sure that's tight. Get the fuel lane on. Make sure your fuel lanes are well on. Your weak double end the clip. Your butterfly clip is going to go back on again. And tighten up these clips. Now, once you go to start the vehicle up, it might conk out. That's just because there's not enough fuel in your fuel filter. So put a battery charger on. Turn the ignition on and off a couple of times. Try and get some fuel from the tank up into the filter and then give it a crank over. It will start for you. Once they're tight, that's how you do a fuel filter. Again, you would just clean down any excess fuel around the vehicle, which has maybe been spilt. You don't want any harm prints on a customer's vehicle either. That's how you do a fuel filter on a Mark IV Golf.